Hey there everyone. It's been a while since I've made a new video. Um, just so you know, I make these videos for my students um, at Milan High School. And um, if you are watching YouTube and you find it, um, that's great. I'm glad that you can join us. Today we're going to make a glowing button. Um, I'm going to make it side by side with this glowing button that I made. These are really easy to make and there's probably a, a thousand and one variations you can do on this. Um, so by no means is this intended to be the only way or the way to make a glowing button, but it is a way to make a glowing button. Um, so we're going to start off, uh, I'm going to make it side by side. You see the, the layers that make up this current button right here. Um, I'm going to choose a rectangle select tool. Notice I've pre-rounded my corners. I've clicked the rounded corners button. I've made a radius of 50. Um, and I'm going to just draw in my radius. Or excuse me, my um, my rounded rectangle. Um, notice there's, there's an outline um, here for the button, but um, it is not moving at the moment. That's because I need to add a new layer to hold that button. Um, I'm going to add a transparency layer. And once I add the transparency layer, I tell my students we have marching ants or we have electricity flowing through our circuit. So I have this new layer that's going to hold my base button. I need to pick a color. Um, that color could be any color that you choose. Um, I'm going to pick a bright blue, I think, uh, for this one. Somewhere in there. Say OK. And I'm going to drag and drop my blue. Uh, I'm going to use my fill bucket um, and drop my blue in right there. Um, next I need to add a new layer. And this layer is going to hold my gradient. Um, and basically what I want to do is place a gradient within here that's going to give me an oval shape. So I'm going to swap my um, colors here, my, make my foreground color black, and I'm going to choose the blend tool. Um, and I've set my gradient to go from transparency to color, the foreground color. Um, and so it's going to go from transparency to black. Um, I've set the offset so that I get sort of this uh, hold out effect here and it's slowly going to fade away to a, uh, an oval um, um, ellipse shape right here. So we are going to... So the offset controls that. The lower the offset, the smaller this opening circle is going to be. Um, we're going to drag up to the top. Oh, excuse me, I messed up. I need to undo that. Uh, one more thing we need to do, um, I'm going to change the type of shape of the gradient to a radial shape. And then try it one more time. And that's the effect I was looking for. Now I want to um, drop, on this layer I want to drop the opacity of that um, so it's not quite as dark. And lighten it up just a little bit. Um, now we want to create this um, light effect at the top. I'm going to draw another um, rounded corner rectangle select. And I'm going to make a layer for it. And I'm going to call it light effect. Come in right here, make my light effect. Um, I'm going to choose white now in my foreground. And I'm going to go back to the Blend tool and change my shape from Radial to Linear. And I'm going to drag from the bottom to the top. And it's going to give me this uh, transparency to opaque white light effect. I'm again going to drop my opacity. And this is just a feel thing. Um, that looks good to me, around 40% um, opaque. And I'm going to turn my selection off. I'm going to run out of time here. Uh, my last thing is to create my text. I have a sans text of 26. I'm going to say click me. And then I'm going to move it into place. Move the active layer into place. And uh, quickly drop a shadow. Go to filters, lighten shadow, drop shadow. I have the, the settings to 4, 4, and 8 for my blur. Say OK. And there I have my glowing button. Uh, looks